Tsunade was a terrible Hokage. Let me start off by saying that Tsunade is nowhere near a bad character, nor do I think she is necessarily unworthy of becoming Hokage. Even though it's telling that the Leaf Elders wanted Jiraiya more so to be considered Hokage, it's not like Tsunade would have been considered a bad pick in the first place. That being said, some of her actions at being Hokage leave a lot to be desired, especially when considering that she initially didn't want the role of Hokage in the first place. Before we get into her actions after being Hokage, let me take it back to the search for Tsunade arc, where her characteristics are seemingly contrary to how a Hokage should act. With her being as blunt and short-tempered as she is, it is seen as a foil towards Naruto, who we are rooting for to become Hokage by the end of the show at this point. So with her acting this way, it was already hard to believe that she would wholeheartedly accept the role, but it made for a great plot device to set up as to why she is cynical as she is once we learn her backstory. Her losing her loved ones repeatedly has made her as cold-hearted as possible, and it's even worse when you consider that her loved ones, Nawaki and Don, wanted so much to become Hokage as well. This makes Tsunada even more cynical to the idea of someone wanting to become Hokage, as she sees it's a fool's errand to take on the job, but by the end of the arc, she warms her heart up a bit after interacting with Naruto and proceeds to become the Leaf Village's fifth Hokage. So at least in terms of finding someone who is willing to do the job of Hokage, she for sure shouldn't have been considered in the first place, but it is somewhat merited when you consider her feats, mainly her strength and ninjutsu. That said, it all pretty much goes downhill from here. One of the first acts Tsunade acts upon as Hokage is her sending Leaf Genin to retrieve Sasuke from the Sound 4 Ninja. When dealing with the likes of Rochimaru, things should be dealt with high priority in mind. Sending off Genin to deal with the Rochimaru's goons cannot not be seen as a good strategy. Granted, it's not like Tsunade knew who was accompanying Sasuke, but that's all the more reason you should be sending out your top shinobi. That said, the reason as to why she couldn't send them in the first place is because of the village being in a weakened state and couldn't afford to send out much Joni. But that being the case, I would deem it more important to send out a group of Joni for this mission since it directly correlates to the person responsible for the destruction of the Leaf Village in the first place. At least two Joni I feel would have been up to the task would be Kakashi and Guy. Kakashi because once he finds out what transpired, instead of accepting the mission that was given to him, him, he had his ninja hounds fan out to find out where Sasuke and Naruto were, and as for Guy, while he was more so worried about Lee and his condition, it's not like he was doing anything else in the meantime, so he for sure would have been an added benefit, and it would have provided more cool moments between the two characters. So while I get the decision Tsunade made, I can't say that it ended off well, as most of the Genin who were sent out were closer to brink the death, and they ended up failing their mission anyways. Now her being Hokage should mean that she has to treat every individual in the village equally, so no favoritism should be allotted towards anyone from her. So why does Tsunade give all the passes to Naruto throughout her tenure as Okage. Tsunade keeps on throwing lobs at Naruto when it comes to his access around the village and other areas. She still lets him go on dangerous missions, specifically when it comes to the Akatsuki. We know this poses an issue because the Akatsuki is after Jinjuriki, which includes the likes of Naruto. So it'd be the logical solution to have him kept in the village, or at least out of harm's way, so that the Akatsuki don't have the upper hand needed to take over the world. What's also crazy was that she had to be convinced to keep Naruto preoccupied while the fourth ninja war was about to start, a war strictly based on the eight and Nine Tails Jinjuriki capture. It's also crazy how Tsunade let Sasuke slide even after he defected from the village. He would be considered a rogue ninja, but because Naruto was in the picture, Tsunade let Naruto and his team try to reclaim him back to the village even though Sasuke left on his own free will. Now I'm saying this is bad, but I mean more so bad for someone who's placed in as the role of Hokage. It's perfectly fine to show some love towards your comrades and wish for the best, but a Hokage is the Naruto version of a government official, so more objectivity should come into play. This is why Danzo would have been better suited as Hokage as he is willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. So while I don't agree with what Tsunade was doing, it can be seen as commendable. Just like how it would be commendable for you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You won't regret doing so, as it provides you more videos just like this in the long run, so be sure to like it up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Now, if you're going to be Hokage, you have to have the strength and skills to qualify for such a task. Now, Tsunade is no slouch when it comes to either or, to give her some credit. The issue is that, because majority of the villains that show up in Shippuden end up being that strong, Tsunade ends up being eclipsed by them. Now, now, you can make an argument that she can beat a handful of the Akatsuki members, but when it comes to her actual showings of fighting a member, it does not go well. Her little scuffle with pain, if you want to call it that, goes nowhere in her favor, and it leads to the entire village being destroyed in the process. At least Kakashi was able to put up a decent fight before he died. But in the end, Naruto had to save her skin. Had it not been for him, she for sure would have kicked the bucket. Now, this may actually play in favor of Tsunade letting Naruto have more freedom being a good thing since he was able to master Sage Mode outside of the village, but that doesn't stop the fact that Tsunade herself isn't strong enough to fight against against foes like this, meaning she's not training hard enough to justify her spot at being Hokage. I will give her immense credit for healing majority of the village during the pain assault, but that further strengthens my argument that she can't do anything against pain since she had to heal people that would be able to stand a chance against him. Now going forward, I will say she has earned her spot at being the fifth Hokage by the time the war arc comes around. While she did let Naruto go into the battlefield, which is a crazy tactic on her end, she was able to put up a decent skirmish against the likes of Madara Uchiha. That said, her and the other Kage got mollywhopped by Madara, but I can make the argument that she 
she put in the best effort out of the bunch. Her using the 100 Mitonic Generation Jutsu is a cheat code to say the least, as she was able to fend off against Madara using the Susano, even getting stabbed by one of the blades the Susano carried. And again, all of them were in pretty bad shape after Madara had his fun with them, but even after being split in half, she was able to have it so that her other Kage were healed and ready to continue the fight. So I will say that a lot of credit needs to be given to her for being an amazing team player, as there's no denying that's the case. However, a lot of this could have been avoided had she let the Raikage kill off Naruto, preventing the Ten Tails from being revived. At least in his full state, since Obito still used pieces of the Eight and Nine Tails chakras to complete the Ten Tails revival. All in all, Tsunade isn't necessarily bad at being Hokage, more so things could have been better handled if she put in more objectivity in her decision making, as opposed to her emotions. You could still make the argument that she is the worst Hokage in the Leaf, since many others were able to maintain a peace that she couldn't, but that's up for debate, as it's mostly dependent on the state of the ninja world and how it would affect the village as a whole. That being said, I want to pass the question off to you guys. Do you think Tsunade was a terrible Hokage, or do you think otherwise? And what points in the show do you have to support your claim on whether she is good or bad? I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you do want to see me give Tsunade more credit, click the card you see here which will take you to my video on shining light towards some of the female characters in Naruto. I'm the Kurohiro Hokage, and I hope y'all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.